Hey everybody and welcome to my shop. A couple of weeks ago I bought this old and pretty beat up horse box trailer that I'm now converting into a teeny tiny camper. So far I got a lot of work done. I got rid of everything that I don't need. I replaced some of the parts that are broken. Um, I got rid of all the wooden walls because they were old and, and not in good shape. I replaced those with aluminum that looks extremely cool. Kind of like a mix between an Airstream and a Remoa suitcase. That was what I was going for. Um, I repainted the roof. I got this super cool window from an old uh, caravan that I built in. And I even built a door for it which is um, a stable door or Dutch door, which means that you can only open the top if you want to, which is perfect for camping, I think. It also has this little window so Smudo can look outside. So far, I have to say, I'm very, very happy with the progress. And I'm just, because I have so much time right now, it's really cool to, to, to do this deep dive because whatever I touch, I really want to do it right and I really want to think about how do I want this to look and yeah again I'm very very happy with with how it looks already um, so this week it was time to do something with a ramp in the back I originally planned to have this be a ramp so I can take my motorcycle with me but thinking about it I realized it's probably not the best idea to have gasoline smell in that tiny space and since I need my van anyways to tow the horse box, I could also put the motorcycle in the van. So I don't need this to work as a ramp. And then I thought it would be cool to have this as, um, as kind of a deck or a, a terrace. It's uh, like a little balcony or something. So I finished the wall next to the door. I have some pretty cool storage solutions there as well. And then I got some teak wood and built the deck. The teak wood is not heavier than the wood the ramp had before. It's actually a little bit lighter, so it's easier to open and close it. Um, and I know that teak is, is not the cheapest solution, especially since I got it um, at a certified dealer, but I think it's the best solution. It's very, very durable, and you only have to oil it once a year, and it will not rot. Probably this ramp will survive the rest of the trailer. Anyways, enough of the theory, let's take a look at the progress.
want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you for coming with me on this adventure. I want to thank everybody who watches these premieres with me. It is so much fun. It really, I'm really looking forward to it. It, it makes my week better. <laughs> so thanks for hanging out with me. And I hope I will see you next week with a new video. Bye guys.